Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Jessica and today you're gonna get a ton of cleaning motivation and we also are celebrating a very special birthday. So make sure you stay tuned to see that. I'm a little bit naughty. I'm a little bit too consumed. But every part of my body is telling me to run away from you. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started in my bedroom because I do want to go through my clothes on this day. So I went ahead and sprayed that Tide antibacterial spray on the sheets. I've been using it lately just with everything going around. Um, it smells really, really good. It smells basically like Tide laundry detergent, but the scent doesn't linger. So that's kind of disappointing, but because it does claim to kill bacteria, I've been using that one and I can only find it at Target. I haven't been able to find it at Walmart, but I do like it. It smells good. So I'm just doing that. And then as you can see, I did put my comforter back on the bed and then I just folded my quilt at the end because that was my original thought for the quilt was to put it at the bottom like that. So I don't know. I'm just playing around with things until I figure out what I like. You get mad every time you lose. You can't take me with you. I'm scared you're gonna blow your fuse. Come a little bit closer. Yeah. So I'm sure somebody has noticed my hair at this point. It has grown a ton and that is because I actually have in extensions. So it is crazy, but it's such a small world. My friend owns a salon in town and one of the girls that she hired actually turns out to be a huge fan of mine. Her name is Sierra and she actually did these extensions for me. I'm going to insert a picture here for you guys to see when we were getting them done, but she is super sweet and she did such a good job. So they are hand tied extensions and I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of having a little bit of anxiety about them just because it's something new and it's attached to my body and I have anxiety, but they do look really good. They're really pretty. I love my ponytail. I actually have hair and I can't even feel them. I'm on day two. I can't really feel them in my hair, but I don't know if it's going to be something that I keep up and like maintain for a really long time. I just don't know at this point because like I said, it is kind of freaking me out to have something in my hair that's not mine. I don't know if that's just my anxiety or what, but she did do a beautiful job. They look so good. They look so natural. So if you guys are in the area and you have been interested in getting hand tied extensions, definitely let me know and I can give you her information. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. How is everyone holding up with everything that's going on? I know a lot of us are having anxiety. It just is so crazy to me. I was really calm about everything, but I'm starting to get a little bit panicked just with them closing schools and closing businesses. And it's just like every single day, there's something new in the news that they are coming out with. And so I am starting to worry a little bit. I don't really understand this and I don't understand like what is even going on or why this is such a big deal but I'm trying to prepare us without panicking and having the girls home has been really nice but it's also been challenging because I have to keep them entertained all right as you've seen in that clip I got rid of a ton of clothes some of those I've had for so long but I wanted to show you some new ones that I'm going to be putting into my collection and I'm so excited because really these are like my staple items now because these are the best quality sports bras and leggings that I have ever had in my life and they're so affordable as well and they're by the Yvette brand and I'll have everything linked for you guys in the description box as well as a coupon for you but these sports bras are so comfortable usually when I put on a sports bra I'm so ready to take it off but at the end of the day I am I forget that I even have this on like oh my ring got stuck um, but they're just so cute like they've got the mesh here and they're really stylish and cute but at the same time they're really really comfortable and supportive and then I have this one here as well in this burgundy color 
it's got some like not really mesh material but just like different material here and then when you flip it over it has these really pretty straps they do have a little tiny tiny bit of padding in there but they don't have an underwire which I like because those are very uncomfortable to me however this material right here is really like supportive and will give you that little bit of a <laughs> will give you that little bit of a lift that you need without needing an underwire but these are really comfortable, really supportive, very, very cute. And then the leggings don't even get me started. These leggings, I wish you guys could feel them in real life. They feel like butter. They are so soft and smooth and they slide right on. They fit so good. They are squat proof as well. So, you know, when you bend over and you can kind of see your underwear or if you're working out in the gym and you do a squat and you're worried about them being see-through, these are not see-through at all. They are totally squat proof and bend over proof, but they have these little tummy control panels. The ones I'm wearing now, um, I'll show you in a second. They have an even firmer tummy control panel, but just these alone will suck you in and they're high rise which I really like and then they do they are full length well they're like ankle length like the ones I'm wearing now but um I don't know what else to say about these except for they are such high quality I've tried a lot of legging brands in my life and these have been my favorite so far and I'm so excited because they are really affordable okay so the ones that I'm wearing now they're going to be the same material here, but down here they have a little bit of an extra like elastic so they fit really tight to your ankle, which these do too, but that's just an extra feature they have if that's something that is important to you. And then they are high rise as well, and then they have this tummy panel. It's kind of hard here. Let's go in the mirror. They have this tummy panel here that's like, let's see, it goes from here to here. And this is like a different fabric that's really going to suck you in and it's like really supportive and I don't know, I really, really like these leggings a lot. They're so comfortable. Like I said, they're like slipping butter onto your skin. So I did get rid of a lot of things and I'm really excited to introduce this Yvette brand into my collection because I just love their stuff. So I'm definitely going to be ordering some more but I wanted to share it with you guys in case you were interested. I get asked all the time about my leggings and where I get them, and you guys, seriously, just go check out their website and maybe get a pair to just see if you like, but you will not be disappointed in these leggings. Like, I'm telling you, you have my word. You will not be disappointed in these leggings. They are awesome. Here is another one that I got. It was in the wash, but I wanted to show you this one because I really love it. It's got this meshy material up top, and it's almost like a halter top. So it kind of goes up high, and then it has like a little cutout here, and the back is crisscrossed like that. And they all have these clips so you can adjust the size in the back as well so that you can really get a good fit when you buy these. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. I just wanted to make sure I shared it for, with you guys because it's one of my favorites, but it was in the wash. I also wanted to show you this one because it was lost in my laundry pile as well, but it has this where it zips. It doesn't zip all the way. It just does that, I guess, to give you some more room if you want or just kind of for looks. But I love this one as well. And it's got the really cute strappy back and of course the clip here. But I just wanted to show you I did get this one as well. And I'll have the ones that I got linked in the description box. Also, I wanted to remind you that for the month of March, I'm doing giveaways in all of my Wednesday cleaning videos. I will be announcing the winner for the giveaway in each video in the next week. So last week's winner is being announced today and you can find who that is in the pinned comment of that video. But if you don't know, what's going on basically in each video I'm doing a giveaway all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and make sure that your subscriptions are public I have in the pinned comment the instructions on how to do that it's really easy and I will be picking one person at random and then I have a list it is linked in the description box and it's an Amazon list and in that list there are several things that you get to pick one item from and I will send it to you just to say thank you for supporting my channel. 
I wanted to give back this month. So I'll have the details in the pinned comment if you want to look for that, as well as the instructions on how to set your subscriptions to public. And then if you are curious who won the last one or the one before that, I always will have the winner's name in that pinned comment once I pick the winner. It was really nice going through my clothes. It really didn't take me a lot of time, but I did get rid of a lot of stuff. I am really bad about holding on to clothes for years and years and years. A lot of the things that I have and that I did end up getting rid of were six years old or more. Honestly, I have a pair of shorts in there that are 18 years old and that is not a lie. I will show them on Instagram if you guys want me to comment. <laughs> this is so funny. Comment below and let me know if you want me to show you my 18 year old pair of shorts. They are ridiculous, but I got them when I was dating my husband. He bought them for me and they're just sentimental to me and they are the most ridiculous shorts ever and you will see why if I ended up sharing them on Instagram, but I just can't get rid of them and I'll never wear them again, but I can't get rid of them. I'm so weird with clothes like that. I'm so sentimental. So I have things that I have kept for years and years. So I finally got rid of them and it did feel good. Somebody's second birthday. Who could it be? Bailey, it's your birthday, honey. Are you excited? I'm taking a quick break to run an errand because I need to run to the store really quickly and grab something. But I wanted to show you guys this built bar. So a lot of you recommended these to me, and I did get a variety pack. I got the sea salt and caramel, the peanut butter and the s'mores. I hate the sea salt and caramel, it's disgusting. But the peanut butter is delicious, I love it. I would definitely buy another box of these. It's really ooey gooey and just, it gives you that texture that you crave when you're craving a dessert and it's really good. And then the s'mores one is my second favorite. It's not like my favorite in the whole wide world, but it's pretty good. But I just wanted to share this with you because I have really been enjoying these built bars and the peanut butter is my favorite so far that I've tried. So I wanted to share with you guys a channel that I think you will really like. Right now, a lot of us are probably really bored and finding a new channel could be really fun, but I really genuinely think that you guys would like this channel. And if you want to get some more cleaning motivation or to see somebody else's lifestyle, then you need to head on over and check out my friend Jamie's channel. Her channel is Jamie's Journey and she is amazing. She has awesome cleaning videos. I'm telling you guys like that girl can deep clean. So if you need some motivation, she will definitely give you that. But she also has three little girls. They actually went through IVF and they had twin girls and they are absolutely adorable. But her family is so precious and she is so sweet. 
and she does a great job of cleaning her home. And so I just wanted to share with you guys her channel because I really think that you would like it and I know it is really fun finding new people to follow here on YouTube. So I would love if you would go over and check out her channel when you are done watching my video and definitely let her know that I sent you. So I'm just using this Spick and Span antibacterial spray. I had this in my stash and I'm just trying to use up things. I've been saying that in my last several videos because it's true, I've really been trying to go through and use up things. So I was using this and it did a really good job on my wood and stuff. I don't know if it necessarily says you're supposed to use it on, my, on wood, but it did fine on mine and it smells okay. I don't know, it's not my favorite cleaning product but I don't hate it. So that's what I was using in the living room. And then I wanted to show you that Madeline had made birthday muffins for the birthday girl because this was actually Bailey's second birthday. So we celebrated her birthday. She made homemade muffins and she made a homemade cream cheese and peanut butter frosting and we sang happy birthday and she got presents and it was really cute. She's looking this up. I think it is. So while the muffins were baking, I went back into the living room to finish up cleaning in there so that I could be done with that room and then we could go have our little celebration with Bailey. I did move the couches on this day and vacuumed underneath of them because they were disgusting. I'm showing you in a clip here. There were Fruit Loops and dog hair and trash and it was so gross. So I did move the couches up and vacuum under them. I meant to mop under them while I had them pushed up and I completely forgot. But if you are following along in this video to kind of do the same thing in your house, go ahead and mop behind them before you push them up because I meant to do that and totally forgot. If you've made it this far, don't forget to give me a thumbs up before you click out. That definitely helps and also it helps when you share my videos. So if you do like watching these types of videos and you want to share, I would really appreciate it. What are some things that you are doing to keep your kids entertained while they are home from school? Let me know in the comments and everybody else feel free to read through them and maybe get some ideas. I think that would be really fun to share what you guys are doing and maybe give some moms some tips on stuff in case your kids are getting bored or you just don't know what to do with them. I'm curious to know as well, like what are some activities? Are you doing any type of schooling with them? Um, Cause I know we're really not supposed to go anywhere right now so what are you doing to beat the cabin fever and the sibling fighting and all of that I'm curious to know if anyone is living anywhere where they haven't closed schools yet because as far as I know they've pretty much closed schools everywhere so if you are living in a state where they haven't closed schools let me know in the comment I'm just curious or in the comments I'm just curious to know if there are any states that haven't closed school because here there are already states that have closed for the rest of the year 
a lot of them have closed until April and it just makes me so sad especially for seniors because they're missing out on so much and then like my daughter is in preschool so if they close for the rest of the year she won't get to have her preschool graduation or just that experience you know leading up to kindergarten it's just really sad and it's just heartbreaking everything that's happening I just like I said earlier, I'm confused really. I don't understand why this is happening. It's so crazy to me. I am using my Bona Mop today to mop instead of my Bissell Crosswave. I just wanted to change it up. That's kind of my thing. I feel like when you change it up, it makes it a little bit more exciting because when you do the same thing and you use the same products over and over and over again, it can just get really boring. So I like to change up my routine. So today I was using my Bona Mop. Is mama making you some birthday cake? Is mama making you birthday cake? Huh? Okay, what do you have in here? Cream cheese and peanut butter? Yeah. And that's for the frosting. Yep. Okay. You're a spoiled little girl, aren't you? The cupcakes are over there. Probably. Oh, where are they? Oh, right here. So they're out of the oven. Ooh, they look delicious. They actually do smell really good. Little chest one. Kind of go to the left or the right, or that that works. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bailey. Happy birthday to you. And make a wish. Yay, good girl. Have it. Now you get to open your presents. Oh. What'd you get? Just want to open it? What's in there, Bailey? What's in there? What's in there? Just in the cupcake. What's in there? She wants more cupcakes. She can have another one later. Give her her toy. Oh. Okay. that one to Tucker. Maybe she wants the black one. What is it? Is that a skunk? She just wants more cupcakes. Tucker's excited about the toys, aren't you, bud? Yeah, Bailey likes food and Tucker likes toys. And look, look what else you got. You got treats? Well, now you're excited. Okay, you ready, Bailey? Good girl, happy birthday. So at this point, I just had the front rooms of the house to clean and the kitchen, which the kitchen was an absolute disaster. But this is our formal dining room. It doesn't really get used to often, so the girls do play in here and stuff. So I do wipe down everything and dust it. Probably like every other week, really, honestly, because it doesn't really get that dusty or used in there, but I do vacuum the floors in there, obviously because of dog hair, <laughs> but I'm just doing these front rooms and then I'm gonna go ahead and move into the kitchen and then I will finally be done with cleaning my whole house.
Now you didn't see me clean my bathroom in this video and that is because right now it is completely torn apart because we are redoing the cabinets in there and it has been a process but don't worry i have filmed several clips of that process for you guys and i'm definitely going to be showing you the reveal and that is all planned to be for next week's video so make sure you are subscribed and you have your notifications turned on because you're not going to want to miss that so right now they're currently like an oak color and we have completely transformed them and I am so excited to see them all done. Oh na na, wish I wasn't right. Whoa. The nice thing about having the kids home from school is I do have a little bit extra help. I do have Kinsley help me with some things. She will pick up toys or she will pick up dog toys and she will take things upstairs for me or go get something for me. And then Madeline has her normal chores, but like today, since she was home, I had her help me clean up the kitchen. So it does help me having them home in some ways because although they do make more messes they help to clean them up so it kind of balances out
All right, so this was the last thing that I did on this day when I did clean my whole house. So I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe it will motivate you to clean your own home. I know it's definitely something that you can do while you are stuck in your house. Now is a good time to like go through your clothes or go through a drawer or your pantry or something like that and organize it while you're home and have the time and definitely have your kids help if they are old enough that they can help involve them a lot of times they actually enjoy it and it will help you a lot but you can kind of give you know each kid a different area maybe to organize or to help you organize a space or something like that but now is a good time to do that in the spring cleaning season that we're in and now we're all quarantined in our homes so it's a perfect time to get organized and clean up the house so I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys next week Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it.